Once you have started selecting the artifacts that you would like to package in your solution, you may need to address some of these artifacts based on if their properties should contain different values in the target environment where you will deploy your package. In the following example, let's look at a package containing various artifacts and some additional items that the Package and Deployment app have deemed as dependencies for these artifacts that we selected. One of these additional items is a mail server field containing the name of the mail server for the development environment. That field will require the correct mail server name for the target environment where we want to deploy our package. To demonstrate creating a variable that can contain a value that will be applied upon deploying the solution to the target environment, let's select the mail server field and review the properties in the navigation pane on the right. The properties list here may show different types of properties based on the type of field or artifact selected. In this example, notice the mail server field has a field value property that currently has the name of this development environment's mail server. Upon deployment of this package, we need to apply the target environment's mail server name for this field instead. To do this, we can right click the field value property and select Assign Variable from the context menu that appears. The Variables window will pop up, and depending on your environment, it may show a list of existing variables previously created for other artifacts or fields. However, I don't have any at the moment, so let's click the Add button. Let's name this variable Target Mail Server. I'll go ahead and put in a short description and then set the value text box to a mail server over in the target environment. From here, I'll click OK. And back on the variables window, notice the field value property and the value we just defined that will be applied to this field when we deploy the package to a target environment. I'll save that back to the package, and then actually upon opening the variables window again from the button menu on the top of the screen, Notice that this variable is actually now being used by one object. From there, when we go to deploy this package to the target environment, the mail server name will be replaced accordingly.